So, this is going to be a really long intro, so if you want to skip this intro and go straight to the Lunar Lancer introduction with all the stats and gems and stuff, go to the timer on screen, or there will be a timer in the description below. Go into the timer and you will get into the Lunar Lancer uh, stats and everything like that. So, before everything else, I'm just gonna say that this is going to be a long intro because this is the 10th episode. You can tell it is the Lunar Lancer. Okay, first of all, since this is the Lunar Lancer, yes, I actually upgraded this character just because I was getting a lot of requests. And this character was, I believe, one time when I when I did the Revenant episode, I believe this character was my lowest power rank. So I gave this character a, a brand new set of gems, well, a lot of new gems, a new class gem and everything. I pretty much went all out in getting this character to 30k PR because I was getting a lot of requests. So yes, this character is already at 30k PR. Also another thing, since this is the 10th episode and every other character that is in 30k PR, well, the I haven't done yet is not 30k PR. So if I go into my character section, do you see that my Pirate Captain, Fate Trickster, Chloromancer, Candy Barbarian, Boomeranger and Tomb Razor aren't 30k PR. What I'd like you to do is go to the comment section down below and let me know which character would you like to see in the next 30k PR video. Uh, thumbs up if you agree with that character uh, instead of typing the same character. So thumbs up and I will pick the top rated comment like the top rated character. And that's what the character that I'll get to the next 30k PR video. I will pin the comment once I am I decided which character I'll do. So I'll, pit, uh, I'll just pin the comment, and once the comment is pinned, uh, I'm not going to take any other votes from other characters, so the comments will be pinned, and that's pretty much it. Also, I've been getting requests to do a new Flux Farming tutorial. I've already done the script to that Flux Farming tutorial, and that Flux Farming tutorial is going to be new and improved, and I'm just going to show you the items and everything that's gonna be like a bigger project because i wanted that video to be like really good and that's gonna be for a while i've also been doing some uh, testing checking out how does the uh, the cosmic and power gem ability works because as of right now i've checked on the weekend check on uh, on trovesaurus on everything else and there doesn't seem to be like a proper explanation on how the cosmic uh, power gem ability do so i've been just testing and just checking how it works um so uh, that's also another video that uh, i'm planning to do and yeah that is all for this intro oh right 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 <laughs> forgot to mention that if you check on my personal chest uh you can tell that there's no gem boxes right here it's because I did a live stream back in uh, Monday, not two days ago. I did a, a live stream opening up all of those boxes. Right now, I am uh, first when it comes to op uh, boxes opening at 28,705. So I opened all of them and I have plenty of dust to at least upgrade a character to, to 30 k uh, at least 30k PR. I got uh, close to 500k on every single gem dust. Well, 400 to 500k on, on the fire, water, and air, and 1.4 mil on the cosmic gem dust. I'm just going to say, these are my gem dust. I got 1.4 mil, almost 1.4 mil cosmic gem. <laughs> my gem boosters are getting a little bit better, but they're still not the best. They're still. They still need like a little bit more work and also for my road to Gonda I'm also at 11 I'm close to 11 million flux. So that's also another thing uh, But yeah Anyways, that's all my rambles and this is my intro and Let's get started with the Lunar Lancer video. Enjoy So I did warn you that this character is going to be the longest episode not because of the stupid long intro but also because this is the most interesting character that I have used so far. And yeah, so this character is going to be a, a, a extremely interesting to say the least. Uh, with that being said, let's get started. Hello and welcome to another JMP video. I am your host, Jornario, and today it is another 30k PR video. This time it is the 30k PR Lunar Lancer. My Lunar Lancer is currently sitting at 30,069 power rank. And my stats are as follows. This character has... 
pretty decent stat, except the Empower Cosmic Gem, that is the only thing that it has pretty bad. But ever since I did that box opening, that insane box opening, I've been like changing up a lot of gems and pretty much all characters have a perfect set of lesser gems. So my stats are going to be a little bit better from now on. Anyways, I have 388,342 physical damage. That is a lot, but take into consideration that this character has a bonus physical damage, a bonus 30% physical damage by default. So this is way higher than it should. 1.1 mil HP, that's a lot. Uh, 50 jumps. This character, I do believe I had jump on my spear. 96% critical hit, uh, which I did have over 100, I think I had like 108%, but I did re-roll one, uh, one of my critical hit into physical damage, I believe it was on the Cosmic Empower Gem, which sucks, and 1718.4 critical damage, I also forgot to mention that I have 103 movement speed, this is the standard base movement speed, fully pearl, no stars, like always because this character uh, does have a bonus 16 movement speed by default, and also I have 3850 light, which is decent considering that I do have a full set of Crystal 3. My gear is as follows, like I said, I have a full set of Crystal 3, critical damage and movement speed. Anyways, I do have Rat the Berserker, Rat the Berserker because this is a speed farming character. Rat the Berserker, it does give a plus 30 movement speed when you kill an enemy. I do have an energy regen ring because this character definitely, definitely needs the energy regen. And I always go for ring rather than just going in for the spear. Because uh, if you go with the spear, you will be losing either movement speed or critical damage, which this character needs both of them. I do have Marshall, Marshall emblem, because this character definitely needs the Marshall. And if this character doesn't have Mar Marshall, it's not gonna kill fast. And Marshall will help greatly with this character. Conjurer's Crucible Bile. I do have high magic find. I will trigger magic find cr like crazy, and I will get flash pretty much every single dungeon or every single world boss. Beamer Ally, I'm going to explain this once I get to Uber 10 because this is part of my uh, Lunar Lancer complete loadout and this is an essential part of the loadout but what it does is when you pop a flask it will spawn an eye that I will shoot a beam or a shot like a random shot and that will do like 6 times damage I believe and it is not too bad. I am using Hatred of the Oathbound Revenant subclass because I do not have Unyielding and I do not have Vampire and Vanquisher with this character, so I need the lifesteal in any way, shape, or form. And this is going to help quite a lot. Anyways, I will be moving into my gems. My gems are as follows. Like I said, this character got a overhaul in like a couple of gems. And yeah, so I do have, let's start with Empower Gems first. I do have a two physical, one crit hit roll right here. I could just re-roll this one into critical damage and get the perfect roll but to be honest i'm not going to i'm not going to re-roll a lot of gems because i did i already re-roll way too many gems and i'm really like really low on lunar souls my class gem it is a 2-1 crit damage to physical one crit damage fun fact about this uh, class gem is when i was going to do like the very first 30 kpr video like way like a couple of weeks ago like two weeks ago now well not do the video i was going to get to this character to 30 kpr i had a two star class gem so i decided to get a new one a new class gem and a new rare and power gem because my class gem was red and the fun part about this gem is this is literally my first gem my first class gem that i open up I pretty much went into Everdark thinking that I was going to open up like 10 of them and I got this one on my first try. So GG. And pretty much I got this roll as well. I haven't even augmented and do, an and do anything. This is pretty much the stats that I got. So GG on that one. I do have a 2-1 physical. This is a pyro disc. So I wanted to give this one specifically a pyro disc because I did not have it. And my 20 KPR video, I did not have like Pyro Disc. Now I do have Pyro Disc. And this is the second part of the essential loadout. And also the explosive epilogue is another essential part of the loadout. I'm going to explain those one at, once I get to Uber 10. I do have a pretty much a perfect full set of lesser gems. Uh, that's what I've been doing. I pretty much swapped a lot of my gems. So I do have a 2-1 physical. 2-1 crit damage, 
to 1 crit damage, to 1 crit damage, pretty much all of them are 2, uh, two 1 crit damage, to 1 crit damage and to 1 crit damage. And there's no particular reason why I'm using 2 1 crit damage, it's pretty much the rolls that I got with this character. And I wanted to go with really high crit damage. And because this character does have a bonus physical damage, and yeah. And I decided to go with 1 physical damage to light on my 2 lesser cosmic gen so I can get a little bit more physical damage. And light. And my empower gem is sucks. I believe the physical damage I did reroll before making this video, it was critical hit, uh, maximum health on light, and it was a one roll of each, and yeah, so pretty much it sucks, this gem sucks, and and I don't have anything else to say because I don't have a lot of empowered cosmic gem, I'm still missing one of them, I'm still, well, actually I'm missing two of them, uh, two three star empowered stellar cosmic gems, and uh, so yeah, anyways, I'm using Imperium Barrier. Uh, Imperium Barrier, no particular reason. I just have this uh, gem and I just equip uh, equip this to this character. I much rather had like Imperium Vanquisher because it's going to make like the loadout that I want like perfectly. But unfortunately, I am only have Imperium Barrier. I wish I had like like Imperium Vanquisher because it would have made this character way much more fun. And yeah, those are, that's, this is everything. Those are my gems, this is my gear, and this is my Lunar Lancer. I'll be going into Uber 10 in 3, 2, 1. And here I am in Uber 10. So, how does the Lunar Lancer fare in Uber 10? So, the Lunar Lancer is one of the most interesting characters for a reason. It's because this character can switch from being one of the worst characters out there to probably one of the best characters out there. It could be high up there with Vanguardian if you properly build this character. Why am I why do I say that? I'm just going to stand here and just explain how is the base lunar lancer. The base lunar lancer, if you don't have uh, any loadout, uh, specific loadout, if you're just using it like any other character. This is one of the worst characters out there, especially for Uber 10 grinding. The reason being is because this character does not have really good DPS and the damage is okay at best. But still decent, but it's okay. The reason I say this is because the main attacking tool is Crescent Combo. Crescent Combo takes 2 seconds to complete and every single swing does 4 times damage. So you're doing 8 times damage over the span of 2 seconds. And, and sorry about the bump, I pretty much hit my microphone. But uh, I would, you would be doing 8 times damage over the span of 2 seconds. 2 seconds of 8 times damage, that's pretty bad considering the 4 times damage a second, that's pretty much 4 times in DPS. Uh, it means that this character is one of the lowest DPS in the entire game, probably the lowest DPS in the entire game. That is one of the reasons why this character you don't see in play in Shadow Towers because of the DPS being so low. But why do people use this character, you might ask? Uh, this character still has a lot of potential because of the uh, first 30% bonus physical damage and second because this character can work best if you have a lot of uh, abilities that do damage. Like, for example, an explosive epilog, Pyrodis, and the Beamer Ally. Those uh, those emblems does help out in the damage department, does help out in the burst damage department. It does help every single character, but this one in particular helps a lot more because this character, since it attacks so slowly, it means that all abilities will hit pretty much at the same time and you will kill everything rather quickly. So if you're not using the uh, specific loadout for this character, this is one of the worst characters out there. You definitely need the light because it's this character skill poorly. You definitely need to be using something like Vampire and Vanquisher or a lifesteal like ability. And uh, you need to be using anything that increases your damage in Uber 10 because this character definitely needs all of them. All of the things that I mentioned, it, it, this character uh, needs it badly. You probably just seen on screen me destroying like Uber 10 and doing like decent damage. It's because like the character, uh, I do have the uh, sick, uh, that I like to call the perfect L Lunar Lancer loadout. And that consists of having explosive epilogue. You definitely need explosive epilogue for this character. 
you definitely need to be using Beamer Ally because Beamer Ally is pretty much like your lifesaver. And having Pyrodes is also a good thing because since you're killing like a lot of uh, mobs using like something like Explosive Epilogue, uh, it means that something like Pyrodes will trigger rather quickly. If you combine all of those things, uh, all of those things I previously mentioned, this character can dish out a 4 times damage from one swing, 6 times damage for the beamer, 5.5 times damage from uh, explosive epilogue, that is a 5 star down there, so let me go there. So 5.5 times, uh, times damage from explosive epilogue, this is why I did not want to record at this hour because look at the kind of lag that I'm dealing with. Uh, that's why I like to record really late because that's when my internet is not destroying my life. But you're... You will be doing 5.5 times damage uh, from Explosive Epilogue and if you combine all of those, that is how much is it like? 6 point plus 5.5, that's 11.5, 4 plus 4, that's 15.5 plus the pirate disc, if you hit the enemy, it does like 2.75 times a second, so that's around 18 times damage so 18 times damage in just an instant that's literally if you don't know how strong that is 18 times damage is roughly it's a little bit weaker than the neon ninja but it's still stronger than pretty much every other uh, every other character in the entire game and sorry about that like lag spike that was probably obs just messing around but if you combine all of those that's 18 point like 18 i believe 18.25 times damage and 18.25 times damage that is ridiculously high damage like your one shot potential goes through the roof uh, from literally like never one shotting if you're just using without the loadout like the character never one shots if you're not using the loadout to pretty much always one shotting because of the all uh, the burst damage potential that this character has and you, if you include the ultimate ability which i always recommend you to use on bosses uh, you will be doing a I believe it is, is an extra 5.5 that is like 23.75 times damage and oops i forgot to kill one more boss a rip so 23.75 times damage that's higher than the neon ninja's one shot potential and you already know how ridiculous the neon ninja's one shot potential really is and if you're just using this character this character not only deals that it, you're also using martial emblem if you're using martial emblem the one shot potential just becomes guaranteed at that point and if you have an end game lunar lancer with this loader you're pretty much going to destroy everything better than even the neon ninja you will become as effective as the neon ninja or even more effective because the neon ninja you again the neon ninja is faster but when it comes to kill time the neon ninja you just had to see the enemy hit him one two three do a backflip through a shuriken this character you just pop a flash press uh, press the crescent combo and everything dies keep in mind that that is if everything is procking together, which is pretty easy to do. You probably already saw, uh, saw Explosive Apple proc like a million times already. And Pyrodes seems to proc, uh, seems to proc like every single time. And obviously the Beamer Ally always procs when I pop a flask. That, you saw that, that was ridiculous. So, uh, so this character becomes incredibly powerful if you have everything like procking and yeah that's what makes this character a monster if you have the loadout if you don't have the loadout this is probably one of the worst characters out there simple as that the damage is just pitiful uh if you want a quick example i will just give it to you right now let me just remove like beamer if i see a boss i'm just going to kill try to kill the boss uh obviously without beamer probably uh, i hope that boss doesn't spawn minions because i still have explosive epilogue and explosive epilogue does help greatly why there's uh, so many curse skulls right now when it comes to curse skull this character is still decent that is one thing that i'll say because even though uh, you don't need like really uh, really really high dps uh curse skull uh, enemies uh, in the curse skulls you all you need like decent enough damage and have really good crowd control so this character has both of them 
but when it comes to doing uh, bosses, this character lacks heavily. Oh yeah, and one thing that I forgot to mention is the passive ability, which is a really good bonus. The passive ability triggers at random, and once it triggers, you get a bonus physical damage increase. I believe it's a 50%, and 50% combining all of those things I previously mentioned, you are going to delete mobs. You are going to delete like bosses if you use like the uh, complete loadout. Let's just hope I don't use uh, the nothing procs. So you can see the actual Lunar Lancer damage if you're not using the loadout. Oh, that is going to be even worse because that is a 3 star boss without like... Let's see if this doesn't spawn minions. Let me kill the minions first. Okay, so explosive epilogue should not be procking now. So this is a normal Lunar Lancer with my kind of stats so keep in mind my kind of stats uh, almost 400k physical damage almost 1.8k crit damage and almost 4000 light i'm still uh, i'm still do not kill the boss within the three second spam that is if you're not using the loadout and, and nothing is proccing so this character definitely needs the load, especially something like Beamer. Beamer is like your best friend uh, because Beamer does a lot of uh, damage. And if you combine all of those, it pretty much deletes mobs. And this character is so incredibly fun to use if you have the loadout. If you don't have the loadout, <laughs> just don't use it until you can get like enough stats that you can start doing like end-game content rather quickly because this character uh, is not good until you get uh, until you have an at end game similar to the neon ninja once you have this character at end game even if you have the loadout or if you don't have the loadout you will still do well because you're already doing high enough damage that you're killing pretty much everything in your path but if you are around 30 kpr 28 kpr 29 kpr around those powering uh, getting this loadout is extremely beneficial because you will do you will delete everything around you much more quicker than you just use like your normal uh, just using it like normally. Uh, also, one more thing that I will mention is that like I previously mentioned, this character needs light and use also quite a bit of maximum health because if you don't have vampire and vanquisher. Or if you even have Vampire and Vanquisher, you still definitely need a lot of lifesteal to do well. And if you have a lot of lifesteal, this character uh, will help you in their survivability and you don't need Deathifying if you have uh, enough health. I would say around 900k HP will be more than enough. If you have around 900k HP you, with at least a Revenant subclass, you will do like decently because if you didn't know crescent combo still stuns even though it's not a good stun it's not a good stun because it stuns for one second similar to the knight but seeing that this ability takes two seconds to uh, to pretty much do that stun uh, enemies will still attack you mid uh, mid crescent combo so uh, this character does not uh, perma stun enemy still uh, this is uh, this is a really fun character this extremely interesting character I was going to just say, uh, scrap this character and say that this character actually sucks. But after just doing some testing and just checking different loadouts, uh, and when I found this in particular, uh, I was like, oh my god. The difference is night and day. And if you combine all of those things I previously mentioned with the ultimate ability, like, look at this. That is a world boss. That boss got one shot at pretty much because. It got hit one, uh, once with the beamer, once with the uh, ultimate ability, and one attack with the crescent combo. If you combine all of those, that's literally around uh, 16 times damage, which is around the same damage multiplier as the Candy Barbarian's ultimate ability. So you're pretty much a walking tank of destruction that one shots everything, has the multiplier of the Candy Barbarian's with its ultimate ability, it has insane crowd control. It is fast and yeah, so the one shot potential is everything that is really good. Still, I will still recommend, even if you're just procking like everything at the same time, I will still recommend you to use light on this character because if you're not using light with this character, the one shot potential just goes to crap to say the least. And this character, you definitely need a lot of light in order to one shot. And so yeah, that's I think that's everything I had to say. 
I think I'll just complete this dungeon and that three star. I'll also do that three star and just call it a day. It is a 32 minute recording as of right now. Probably I'm just going to cut everything like crazy. I'm going to hate life uh, editing this video. Not really. But this character is an interesting monster. It is one of the characters that involves really heavily on having a lot of uh, different items for it to be effective. If you don't have like if you don't have a specific loadout, this character is pretty much bottom tier in Uber 10. Unless you are end game. Once you're end game, but obviously that this character becomes decent. But if you're like 30 KPR, around 30, 9, uh, 29, and then this character is pretty bad. It's really bad in terms of DPS and effectiveness in Uber 10. And But this character is still really fun to play. Uh, just going to say that if you haven't like checked, uh, haven't used the loadout, like haven't used Explosive Epilogue with Beamer, at least those two in particular, if you haven't used those two in particular, I will strongly suggest you get them both, an explosive epilogue and uh, at least uh, Beamer out the Beamer Emblem. Beamer Emblem is tradable, so you can buy it rather quickly, and it's pretty easy to get. But still, the uh, this character just it's a night and day difference. It's so it's incredible. This character is actually incredible. Anyways, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around as always. If you have a Lunar Lancer, let me know which power rank are you and let me know what you think of the Lunar Lancer. Like I said, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know which character would you like to see in the next 30k PR video. I will pick the top rated comment and I will use that character for the next episode. Leave a like if you want to help the channel grow, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And that is all for today. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and keep on hunting. And remember, use a specific loadout for this character if you want to be effective. See ya.